Okay, let's turn that down. Um, you probably have seen now that during this tenure, we've had the Ford Everest on test. I didn't expect to get it on test, so um, what we were trying to do was to find a way where you could absolutely just explore it to the max because Ford has gone a completely has gone on this revamp man their buckies are ruling the streets the raptors making waves this on the other hand has people wondering do they need x5s mls and gle's because it's the, the levels of comfort and uh, the luxury the tech you know but then some people are complaining about the prices though yeah like, a ford shouldn't cost me this much anyway but i'm here to tell you if it's worth it or it's not worth it so welcome to it um, if you don't know the channel, it's Where's Lebonani. You can follow us on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and the YouTube channel you're on now. So, first things first, we're on a gravel stretch. Um, we went to Ado the other day, so I thought, let me find this other piece of road that I've always, I always forget these roads when I get it back, you know, as you know. And I was hoping that I'd come here in the Raptor. And while the Raptor's fun, it's got a lot more power. And when I had the Raptor, the previous one, I went on a stretch, but it wasn't as, dare I say, as fun as this is, man. It was okay, but I didn't get the shots that I wanted. This time, or this time though, we've gone full out with the video because uh, I appreciate the, the, the feedback you guys give me, telling me that, listen, we'd like to see this, we'd like to see that, we'd like to see this, we'd like to see that, and I take it to use, I make notes. So, we're driving on a gravel stretch now. Yes, there's a little bit of a scuffle on the camera because... We're doing about 80, 90 in a gravel stretch, which is quite something. The comfort levels on this car are genuinely, genuinely unmatched. It is truly, truly something to behold. And um, the, the way the suspension drives, I mean, yesterday I went out to a cow's corner, which is on the other side, so kind of link a cow's corner. They call it cow's corner, it's a farm. And I went up a bumpy stretch of road and I was with my folks, my brother, my two girls. And the comfort was just unbelievable, man. It was just unbelievable. I'm now here with my nephew. We just finished shooting the review, and he'd been asking for a ride for a long time. I told him, listen, my mela was like, for man, like, well, the motor more than likely better than most people. Now he can say a completely different experience because everybody else that's been in this car, um, I haven't really gone crazy in terms of performance because I enjoy the luxury element here because yeah, I'm not here and then. And now we drove in a gravel stretch. And he just couldn't believe it. And at some point or other, we went sideways and to correct, correct. And he's like, yes, yes. And I'm like, hey, this one doesn't know that I'm pro senior. But anyway, we'll cut the senior part out. Yeah. So anyway, uh, we're back on the road now. So what do we like about this car? Firstly, it's big. Hi, guys. Ingolo. Yo, Ingolo, Ingolo. So, so we're going to pull over here now and just change back to a normal drive mode, which is... Um, we're gonna put it into how we've been driving this car and then it's gonna be a 4x4 shift in progress it does that doesn't take long and then it's back to 2h which is fine for here and it is powered by a v6 that makes 184 kilowatts and 600 newton meters of torque um what do we like it's big it's bold the front end you don't miss it the headlights the c-clamp headlights they really really do stand out a lot of people like them and apparently they're made Olomotech so Labo Chak Nondosh have been very proud to see me in this car yeah that's close to me giving us unnecessary noise um, it really really is something else the front end is bold um, you go to the side you got 21 inch mags after the 21 inch mags you've got color coded door handles color coded mirrors um some chrome stripping along the window sills here at the back led lights led tail lights that are very nice long strip the words platinum on the side of the doors um napang a power tailgate is what we like power um an electrically adjusted uh, folding third row of seats Oh, it's very cool. It's very, very cool. Yes, Claire and Jay, the video should be popping up now. It was quite some fun. And then inside, very spacious, very, very nice place to be in. Very comfortable. There was a slight bit of discomfort. That I couldn't really get right, but eventually I got used to it. Um, the seats, oh, I love the seats, man. They're comfortable, heated, I think heated and cooled. I haven't used the key cooling function. Oh, yes. They are heated and cold. Oh, oh, yeah, over. 
especially coming to June now so when you come to the side they've got this kind of charcoal wood from here that's on the doors along with the chrome soft touch you can rest your arm you, you know you will always have something I do I never out it's quite nice the air vents are quite cool below the air vents you get cup holders which is quite nice and then you get these buttons for me were something I didn't quite like because they are quite low there to adjust the lights and the dimming of the screens and all that they're quite low and you have to actually look at them and sometimes if you have to make that adjustment you're probably driving you might take your eye away from the road yeah just something you know i wish it could have been higher um move to the side oh i love the cluster you can interchange it in many ways i just kept it in the basic one where i see the boost pressure oil pressure water pressure uh how much fuel is in the car uh the safety levels now you move to this side this big table screen had everybody in there or oh, because people were going like you hi in a tablet in a tablet it has a and then most people that didn't have an inductive charging phone all of them were trying to charge on this thing i know my huawei didn't really link up with this car and that didn't make me happy Kakolo, because i wanted to start this car for my people from the outside because i know you can start it from the phone you can open windows from the phone oh that's another gremlin i didn't like the fact that you can't open the windows from the key um because my phone wasn't linked up yes most of donald trump and i went as long as i changed the source and using to work to use my fourth pass and I couldn't. But anyway, that's neither here or there. It doesn't mean that it spoils the fun. Those are just a few things. Very, very few things I didn't like. Um, space in the car. The center armrest has got a, a compartment in here. I think that's cool. Cup holders were awesome. Um, that side, that side. Oh, then the one of the best things about being in this car, the sound system, man. Oh, geez, this Bang & Olufsen sound system. It bangs like it bangs not because it's bang and Olufsen, but it bangs yo it color I'm not guys it color I'm not and yours truly is the best music as always um, oh really really it sounds bloody nice and the beautiful thing about it is that um, I didn't even need to adjust it whether I was playing a little bit of house music and most of my R&B and all that it really really just came to the fore I'm um, yeah I think on the interior exterior that's about it oh yes driving the car i know this thing is full of tech and one thing i love about it being full of tech safety tech when you put it in reverse the cameras are crystal clear it's got 360 degree views so you see all the time the navigation is beautiful you can zoom in and see extra buildings of where you are driving which is quite awesome pairing it with my phone was not a nightmare it was quite easy straightforward and then there's one touch, one touch button for lane keeping assist for you know the cameras to see in the cameras when I went to A's and Tantin to go get the Kalun depart, you know, but the funing call hasn't been any ugly weekend, see, I go here and yes, for the month and for the end of April. So, I guess I can't do it. So, apart from that, and and the camera works beautifully. And what I, what I liked was if I didn't like, and if if you crossing over lanes, we use a lane keeping assist, the steering shakes very gently. Unlike other cars that will, you know what some people say, no, you can set it up, but I like the fact that it warns me gently that, listen, you are crossing over lanes now, you need to come back. That was beautiful. I loved it immensely. And the other thing that I quite liked about um, driving the car, um, the Ford Collusion Alert. Like now, it's blue. There's nothing in front of me. When I'm getting closer to another car, it'll be orange. And then once it's orange, I know when it's red, especially when i reverse in reverse quelly motor for cross traffic alert i know shame if i'll bring a trigger which i loved i loved it if you're reversing and you're about to hit an object a stationary object whether it's a wall it breaks for you which is beautiful and unless because we're now okay yeah, well, so um yeah apart from that oh guys the drive man the drive is comfortable the engine 10 speed gearbox 185 kilowatts of power 184 kilowatts of power um and we're dealing with um 600 newton meters of torque 
with a load full of people without a load yens and when yeah i'm back up back up and build for shove and initially we didn't problem that it didn't have pedal shifters and as time went on i realized about it doesn't really need them this box is very well matched the tennis gearbox <clears throat> i just wish they didn't put these buttons to change the gearbox on the side of the gear lever yeah that would have put them as wrong you can just press manual and yeah but because now to change through buttons on the screen uh -uh. I just didn't feel that is, yeah, it's one of the things I didn't like about this car because to change it like that the box is good don't get me wrong the box is superb you leave it in auto and uh, when you switch the car off I'll probably post the video with this when you switch it off and the car is in drive um, what it does it moves back to park so we'll start it again now and put it back into drive. It really is quite something. Someone put me over and said, um, hey, Tata Ben Bonilla, we will fucking love it. We live in a good drive, yes, we will go park. I wonder, yes, I'm going to send you. Wow! Yeah, but, yeah, yeah, you know, guys, serve your audience, give them exactly what they'd like to see. And this is why some people ask me, what tennis do you want to go to the end? And the let's end it because if you know the target market and you know your audience, you know exactly what to do. Because when people ask me, hey, if you want to go to Chile, if you want to go to Chile, um, do that so that those people bring other people on board so you know this car currently is being judged a uh, swart cops for the guilds a south african guild of modern journalists carved the year it's one of the finalists and i'm gonna tell you now i've been so impressed with this car that it's called a healthy nine call it 8.5 actually because of a number of things that i feel like i don't like these buttons here i don't like the way this the gear lever is awesome it's quite small i know that another friend of mine in the in another in another back he didn't like it i don't like these buttons for changing here with it, oh this is what made me wish it had pedal shifters because then again a diesel with pedal shifters not always the best but okay you're not i know healthy 8.5 and uh, I know that a lot of people had a bit of a problem with pricing and I think that's another thing and that's half a point that it loses because Ford unbundled is in the so this car at its pricing you gotta you gotta add service plan you gotta add maintenance plan it comes with warranty and you wish at that price point they'd made it complete but in maintenance plan and then you have that peace of mind car but yeah I assume um at that price point not even an assumption I got the water shaker by adding another 80, 90,000 rands for a certain full maintenance plan. Or I think he service plan the liberalized team. But I mean, it's yo, you and I as a package, guys. I know, no shame. I found myself, it's going to just figure when I come to test them. And if months in Doba, I ain't a figure and belly and bones one. Yeah, but then the cars that come. It fits my lifestyle in every aspect. My kids love it. Uh, my daughter loves it. My family enjoyed it. People were going berserk, going, yo, and this white, yo, 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 yo. this white man, because I thought, oh, black came out in a sport. The sport edition looks nice. I know that uh, Amasha Sholoza um, were going, yo, that's the FBI edition. Hi, this white, I know. Listen, like, subscribe. Tell us what you think. We're happy. 8.5 for the Ford Everest Platinum. I fully expect, man. Fully expect, seriously. And, you know, it doesn't get more American than this in terms of size. And this V6. Ay. Yo, I show it. It chocolate land down. It chocolate land down, seriously. And the response is quite nice. Even if, I mean, the drive modes. Yes, there's a lot of drive modes. How could I not mention? Because... Uh, it's got mud towing and all that as similar to what you get in the raptors we had shown you a lot of drive modes but shame as boring as now land to buy and what i like is when the minute you go to normal it goes to four auto like we just did a stretch now on gravel which was quite nice once i don't know anyway that's us like subscribe tell us what you think um, i think we've covered everything and personally i quite like it it's just one of those cars i wish i didn't have to hand back because for 11 years and she confirmed to us that she's glad she held on and didn't let the relationship like subscribe and uh, this is about Papa God. Anyway, where's Lebon in the channel? Tell your friends, tell your family. Yeah, ask us, tell us what you think. See you later.
So someone asked me a question and it's relevant because it's to do with the fuel consumption as um, I'm taking this car back now, this Ford Everest Platinum. It's powered by a V6 3 litre turbo diesel and I think I've topped up 35 litres and we're sitting on just over 900 kilos now and I've had quite a lot of things to do with the car because it came at a time where I genuinely needed a car. Sometimes I can just chill at home and be doing a lot of work at home. And my conclusion, well, we're sitting on 13.2 because yesterday we did the filming of the car, so we did some high-speed shoots on gravel, which proved very well, did very well. And I, I found myself actually quite impressed with the consumption because I felt for a V6, I didn't feel like I had to consistently fill it up. If in an alpha tank, it was enough to do a lot. And I think a tank, a tank will probably give you about, give or take probably 700 Ks on a tank on a normal drive, mixed driving, town, urban, highway driving cause of the way I was driving, like why is this person crossing the road and disease? Yeah, so, yeah, the fuel consumption is really decent. It may not be close to the claimed figure that Ford says, but personally, I was happy with it because um, you look, I think this is an 80 or 90 liter tank and yeah, it did very well, did very well. I'm quite, quite happy with it. Yeah, I, I'm quite happy with it.